just want to make a quick video about this anniversary clock when you receive it. It does come, it'll be all couple, uh, uh, wrapped in bubble wrap when you receive it. Just take off the dome. Um, and there's a certain way of setting it up, and some people are a little bit confused when they get these clocks and how to set this these clocks up. This specific clock, we're going to show you exactly how to do it. So when you receive it, you'll know how to do it. So the clock comes just like you see here. The hands have to be set manually, okay? There's no switch in the back here to turn the the time. So you have to do them manually. So you just adjust the hands and just make sure the hands don't touch. Sometimes people, when they do it, they'll push in and the hands will touch each other and they'll get stuck and they won't keep time that way. So that's one way that can happen. So just make sure when you turn the time of the handle, just make sure you just use your finger slowly and go right around, just like you see here. That way if they don't touch and um, a lot of times people push down and they'll bend the hands and they'll hit each other and they won't obviously won't work. Second thing on this clock, when you receive it, this goes back and forth, okay? This, is my, this runs by battery. So make sure you put a fresh battery in. Okay, a C cell battery, which we have right here, C cell battery, and this is the latch. This you have to unlock this latch. What this does is releases this uh, pivot that goes back and forth. And these all these little uh, grommets here across the, the bottom of the feet are adjustable. So you have to make sure it's centered. So there's a couple different things you have to do before you, you know, start. this is the troubleshooting you have to do when you first get it. So you loosen this up, you can see, you release that. Now what happens, you can see this is, starting to move, right? It's already moving. It's ticking. Uh, the idea is to get this to go back and forth and keep the correct time. Now, you want to make sure it's a level. The way they make it level is you use these little grommets and these little um, adjustable feet on the bottom of the, of the clock, and you can adjust the height. And that's how you adjust it. You have to make sure it's in the center or it won't keep proper time. That's another thing people have problems with, understanding how that works. So you just adjust the height of the, of the feet, make sure it's not hitting, so this is hitting the back. You can hear that, right? That's hitting the back. So what you want to do is just raise the raise in the back. So it's sitting more in the middle. Now it's sitting in the middle, not hitting anything. And just to start it, just give it a little push one way. Don't have to do a lot. And now it'll just go on its own. So it's pretty much ready to go. That's how you set up the clock. It'll go back and forth. Put the dome on. It'll settle down within about 15 minutes. It'll get you know just start keeping perfect time back and forth. So that is the procedure. So you can see the pivot is now in a nice cycle. It'll go back and forth and it'll settle down and continue going back and forth. Um, and that's all you have to do. Once the hand's all set, battery's installed and everything's adjusted, you're good to go. So that's how you set up this, this specific anniversary clock. Hope this video was helpful. Helpful. Please enjoy. This is a beautiful clock and it works fantastic. Thanks for watching.